I got interested in R&D when I started uh, basically later in my undergraduate work and into grad school. Um, looking at the fundamental portions of problems and looking at sort of cutting edge technologies, it really excited me and it really kept me um, engaged in learning. So I always knew that it would be sort of the right place for me. I hope that what I'm able to contribute to this industry is more or higher efficiency in diesel engines. I think that there's a little bit of room there that we can use and, and applying that to sort of niche and smaller applications where they're using much older and dated technology is something that I look as an opportunity to not only improve the technology but all, to also reduce the amount of fuel that we consume. What brings me back to mainstream every day is, is the variability that, that comes with this job because when you're designing these full systems, like say for instance the engine, there's a lot of subsystems and there's a lot of different physics that are involved. You know, for instance, for that engine, I, was, I had to solve problems in fluid mechanics, had to solve problems in structural mechanics, design, um, all kinds of heat transfer combustion issues, and just sort of that change of problem every day, the intensity of that problem every day just always kept me engaged and always kept me excited to be here. So the fact that I'm pushing the envelope, making cutting edge technology, and I'm able to, to change sort of my focus uh, slightly from day to day really keeps things interesting and exciting. Really, I think that uh, what drives me and you know a lot of the other people here is, is sort of this rogue mentality where we, we're constantly challenging um, what is out there in industry. You know, we take the, the opinion or, or sort of the, the stance of why not? Like, why can't we do this? Why can't we accomplish that? Why can't we you know, take what has typically been done for the last 30 years in engines and make it smaller and lighter and more efficient? Um, why can't we supply things, even though we're just a small company from, from Central Florida, why can't we start uh, supplying these engines to, to the military? Um, and basically, whenever we see one of these challenges where it seems like there's a long history and a long infrastructure behind something, we take that as a personal challenge, and, and that's something that we really strive to overcome, is uh, the, the previous barriers that have been there.